hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are well so this week I will be showing you how I do my brows how I basically get my brows done on a daily basis but just to start with just to apologize in advance for my ratchet nails so what had happened was you guys know that I don't normally do nails it's not my thing however my sister was getting married so I decided to you know get my nails did so now the wedding is over they started sort of falling out one by one and on each hand I have about two and three on this hand I don't have the time to go to a nail shop I don't even think I know where one is so yeah so I just thought to put that out there before you guys come for me about my you know ratchet nails so anyway let's get started with this tutorial so the first tool you're gonna need is a brow I think they call it a spoolie That's how a brow spoolie looks like. Spoolie, I'm sure that's what they call it. So I'm going to use that to brush my brows in place. So that's that done. I normally use two. I use brow pencils for my brow. However, I use two types. Um, they're both from Anastasia Beverly Hills and one is called the Brow Definer There we go Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills and the other one is called Oh, the color for the one that I use is Ebony in this one and then the second brow pencil that I use is called the Brow Wiz It's also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, the brow definer is a little bit thicker. I'll show you. This is a little bit thicker in width than the brow width. So, I'm going to show you how I use both of them. I start by outlining from the bottom draw like the where the natural shape of your brows and then I do the same for the top of the brows Then I take the I take the um, the brow wing. So the first one I used was the brow definer, and like I said, the, the color I use in that one is ebony. And then I take the brow wing, which is slimmer. The lead pencil bit is slimmer than the brow definer, and the color I use in that one is dark brown. And then I fill in the brows with this one. So I've used the brow definer to outline. I mean, you can use the same pencil to be honest to do both, but I'm just extra. So I just use two. So I use this to fill in the brows. You fill it in. The hair at the bottom of my brows are sparse, so I need to draw it in more. So once I'm happy with that, try not to put too much product at the front because it gives you that blocked eyebrow look like a box which is not a look that I'm a fan of. 
So if you're not trying to go for that look, I'll suggest you avoid putting too much product right there. You sort of start from there rather than the top of the brows. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush the product, blend it well with the spoolie. I think they call it spoolie. Yeah, I think that's what they call it. If not, I apologize. I think it's a spoolie or I call it eyebrow brush. How about that? And mine is just some random brush. Yeah, but anything that looks like this that you can use to brush your eyebrows, use that. So I brush it in place. And then when you get to the top, you want to fade it in. So I tend to just do that. So you don't have that, uh, you don't see a harsh line. So make it look as natural as possible. Yeah. So that's the brow. Not quite finished, but almost there. And that's the one that I haven't done yet. So we're gonna go on to the next one. Do exactly the same. I'll show you again. Yeah. Brush the brow into place. Then you want to get the brow definer. Or like I said, you can use the same. You can use this for both drawing the shape and filling it in. You don't need to get two pencils. Yes, and then you want to get the other brush. until you're happy with the how dark you want it depends on you if you want it lighter if you want it really dark but what I would say is never ever ever use black pencil to draw your eyebrows that's like a no-no always go for colors like dark brown ebony this dark brown basically never use black Never strive to get your eyebrows to look exactly the same. They can never be. In my case, I think one is even thicker than the other. I don't really bother myself with trying to get it looking exactly the same because they'll never be. So, what we're going to use next to basically make the brows stand out more after you've filled it in, brushed it out, and you have the desired color you want is to get a flat brush this is a mac 2 i think it's a back 242 it's sort of fading but i would um look it up and if if i'm wrong i'll put it in the description box but i believe the brush is a mac 242 which looks something like this That's how it looks like. It's pretty much flat, and I'm gonna use that to dip in my concealer to clean up the brows. So for my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Mac Studio Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. I normally go for the top left color, which is the and C45. I think as long as it's like maybe one or two shades lighter than your brows, you can always blend it in. I'll show you. So I get some of the concealer and I start cleaning up my brows. So you want to go underneath. Making sure you don't swirl all the the color you put in, don't go too high where you're messing up the color. So, that's the bottom of that done. Yeah. 
so this is when you're gonna need to blend blend you're gonna need to blend that's why I tend to do my eyebrows before I actually changed the way I do my fan I don't wear foundation most of the time I wear powder foundation but either way I now do my brows first my eyeshadow if I'm wearing any and then I do my powder because I used to do my powder first and then do my eyebrows and I noticed that I'll have to do all this cleaning and it's better to do it before you do your foundation does that make sense so so now you want to blend and blend all that concealer right into the skin I always find that the concealer um, right here acts as a base if you put it on your if you put it on eyeshadow so that always helps so I just bring the concealer down to the to cover the lid I blend it into the lid so that acts as a base for my eyeshadow the time you put on your foundation or your powder you will all blend in better okay don't so what you now want to do is have a look at it get your spoolie again and brush it all in place and if you feel that there's any gaps in the brows like if you look at mine now you can see a gap right here you see so what I do is I just fill in any gaps so I get the spoolie and just make sure you fade at the top making it as much more as possible yeah. so that is my brows done I always tend to do as well um, if I wear an eyeshadow um, I've already put some just blending it into my eye I take any powder any powder and I just use that to set the just the under the brows where I flat the concealer just set it in place with the powder and then I put my eyeshadow on top yeah but all of this all of this white is gonna it's gonna blend by the time you put your foundation on or you applied your powder yeah so not to worry so that's the finish look guys So that is how I do my brows. You asked, I delivered. So I guess I'll catch you guys in another video. Leave any questions in the um, comment section. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye from me and my ratchet nails. See you guys.